common mistakes in identifying two dimensional shapes hello kids in the previous video we saw examples of identifying two dimensional shapes in this video we will see some common mistakes in identifying two dimensional shapes that should be avoided today chotu and neha are playing a game together they have some straws in this game and they have to make shapes by joining these straws neha what are you making chotu i have made a shape out of three straws can you identify the shape i made children do you know which shape neha has made come on let's see neha the shape is made of three straws it means it is a triangle is it so yes chotu you are right neha now let me try and you tell me what i have made okay chotu i made the shape with four straws so tell me what is the shape children do you know which shape is this come on let us see it is made of four straws this means it is a rectangle yes neha you were right now i will also make a rectangle neha used four equal length straws to make a rectangle children do you remember what we call the shape come let us see neha we call the shape a square chotu this shape is also made of four straws why is it a square then yes the shape is also made of four straws but the shape made of four lines which are of the same length so it is called a square okay fine chotu i have understood this means that this shape is square because it is made of four equal length straws so children now you can also distinguish between square and rectangle right both rectangle and square are made up of four sides but the shape whose four sides are of equal length is called a square and this is the rectangle so kids that is all for today in this video we saw some common mistakes in identifying two dimensional shapes which should be avoided i hope you have understood this topic properly bye children